friends, I'm Vishma and you are watching my channel G Tutorial. Today's class is on percentages. This is the second part of the video. The link of the first part is provided in the description box. Uh, it is better you check the first video before watching this video uh, so that you will understand the basics of percentages. We have discussed six models in that video. Now we are starting from the seven model. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for getting more RRBJ related videos. Now let us get to our class. This is the seven model, which is the examination model. In an examination, A got 30 percentage of marks and failed by 10 marks. B got 40 percentage of the marks and passed by 20 marks. Find the total marks, individual marks and also pass marks. Here, uh, there are two students, A and B. A got 30 percentage of marks and uh, B got 40 percentage of marks. I just said that A got 30 percentage of the mark and failed by 10 mark. If there is a pass mark, then A failed the a failed by 10 marks. That is he got 10 marks less than the pass mark. And B got 40 percentage and he passed by 20 marks. So B got 20 marks more than this pass mark. Let B be the percentage of pass mark. Then we can say that the difference between 30 and 40 which is that what is it? Just 10 percentage. Which is equal to the difference in mark. 30 marks. So 1 percentage is equal to 30 by 10. Which is 3. So 100 percentage is 3 into 100. That is 300. That is the total marks. Total marks. Next is individual marks. Individual marks is A got 30 percentage marks. So 30 into 1 percentage is equal to 3. So 30 into 3. A got 90 marks. B got 40 percentage. So 40 into 1 percentage is 3. So 40 into 3. So 120 marks. Next is we have to find the pass mark. Pass mark is 10 marks more than A's mark. A got 90 marks. So pass mark is 90 plus 10 which is 100. Okay. This is the type of examination model. Okay, next problem. Next model is the library model. And the type 1 problem will be like this. In a library, there are 10,000 books. 20% uh, books are in Hindi. 30% books are in English. 40% of the books are in Malayalam. And the remaining books belong to Tamil. Find the number of Tamil books. So, we are asked to find the number of Tamil books. It is said that there are total... Uh, 10,000 books in the library. 20% of them are in Hindi. 30% of the books are in English. And 40% of the books are in Malayalam. So, the total is 7 plus 2. 90% of the books belongs to Hindi, English and Malayalam. We have to find the rest of the books. That is the Tamil books. Remaining books belong to Tamil. Total is 100 percentage, so 100 minus 90, which is 10 percent of the books is actually Tamil books. We have to find the number of Tamil books. It is nothing but 10 percentage of the total books. Total book is 10,000. So 10 by 100 of 10,000, which is 1,000 books. 1,000 books belongs to Tamil. Next question. This is the second type problem. Remaining concept problem. In a library, there are 10,000 books. 20% of the books are in English. Remaining on 30% books are in Hindi. Remaining on 40% books are in Malayalam. Remaining books belong to Tamil. Find the number of Tamil books. This kind of problem is done in this way. Remaining value is equal to initial value into 100 minus x by 100 into 100 minus y by 100 into 100 minus z by 100. If there are more cases, you have to do a search. 
So here remaining value is equal to initial value is 10,000. 10,000 into 100 minus 20 by 100 into 100 minus second case is 30 by 100. Next is 100 minus 40 by 100 which is 10,000 into 100 minus 20 is 80 by 100 into 70 by 100 into 60 by 100. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Which is 42 into 8, 80. Which is 0, 8 was a 60. 3, 3, 6 books belongs to thumb. Next model. This is the ninth model. Uh, there are two cases. In the first case, if A is X percentage more than B, then B is 100 into X by 100 plus X percentage less than to A. And the second case is, if A is X percent less than B, then B is 100X divided by 100 minus X percentage more than to A. Now we can do a problem. If A is 20 percentage more than A, find how much percentage is B less than to A. This is the first case. So, B is 100x by 100 plus x less than to A. Which is 100 into x is 20 by 100 plus 20. Which is 100 into 20 by 120. 100 by 6 is 16.66 percentage. This is the third type of the above case. If A is X percentage more than C and B is Y percentage more than to C, then percentage of A in B. A is X percentage more than C and B is Y percentage more than C. C is any quantity. So, percentage of A in B is 100 plus X by 100 plus Y into 100. And percentage of B in A is just a reciprocal. 100 plus Y by 100 plus X into 100. And the second case is if A is X percentage less than C. And B is Y percentage more than to C. And here the, uh, the plus changes by, by just 2 minus. That is 100 minus X by 100 plus Y into 100. Now let us see a problem. If A is 20 percentage more than C and B is 50 percentage more than C, then percentage of A in B is 100 plus 20 by 100 plus 50 into 100. That is 120 by 150 into 100. Which is 5 sa, 3 4 sa, 5 2 sa, 14 into 80 percentage. Percentage of A in B is 80 percentage. Now we can see the last model. That is the tenth model. This is the most important model. And uh, the question is, if the price of cooking gas increased by 15 percentage, by how many percentage should a family reduce its consumption so as to exceed, so as not to exceed its budget on cooking gas? rate increased then how much percentage consumption should be reduced to make the expenditure constant uh, expenditure we have to study this formula expenditure is equal to rate into consumption rate or price if price increase consumption has to be reduced to uh, make the expenditure constant and if consumption increase so the rate has to be decreased to make this expenditure constant. There are two cases. In this case, reduction in percentage of consumption. Reduction in percentage of consumption is equal to R by 100 plus R into 100. You have to memorize only this. Percentage reduction in consumption should be how by how much percentage the rate has increased. R by 100 plus R into 100. In this case R is equal to 15. So 15 by 100 plus 15 into 100. By this much percentage, the consumption has to be reduced to maintain the uh, expenditure as constant. So 15 by 115 into 100. 5 threes are 15, 5 into 23. So 300 by 23. 
300 by 23 is 31 by 23 percentage. This is the next question. The price of a petrol increased by 25 percentage. By how many percentage should a family reduce its travel so as not to exceed its budget on travel? Here, rate of increase is 25. So just substitute the formula. 25 by 100 plus 25 into 100. That is 25 by 125 into 100. 500 by 5 is 20 percentage. Now we can see another problem. Uh, in many exams, I have seen this kind of problem. I think it is very important. This is a problem. A reduction of 20 percentage in the price of sugar enables a customer to obtain 3 kg more for rupees 120. The original price of the sugar per kg is. It said that the price of the sugar reduced by 20 percentage. This enabled a customer to buy. 3 kg more for 120 rupees. So we have to find the original price of the sugar. We have to find the original price so that the original price be x. So for 120 rupees we will be getting 120 by x kg of sugar. Now uh, the price of the sugar reduced by 20 percentage. That is new price will be 100 minus 80, 80 percentage of x. So 80 x by 100 which is 4x by 5. Then for 120 rupees, we will be getting 120 by 4x by 5 kg of sugar. And it is given that the difference of this is 3 kg. So we can write 120 by 4x by 5 minus 120 by x is equal to 3. Okay. Now we are solving 120 into 5 by 4x minus 120 by x is equal to 3. Here the LCM is 4x. So 4 into 4. 120 is common in both these terms. I am taking 120 outside. So 5 minus 4. Taking 4x to that side. So 3 into 4x. 3 4s are 12. So 10. 5 minus 4 is 1. 10 into 1 is 10. So x is equal to 10. 10 kg. Sorry, 10 rupees. Now the one is the original price of the sugar. That is 10 rupees. Now we have covered every kind of problem that can be asked from personages. If you are having any doubt or suggestions, you can comment below. Thank you.